Hey everyone, in today's video I want to show you a few tricks that are great for making gold at the moment um, while you're at low level, especially while you're still leveling. Um, they're really good because they can actually tie into to the leveling process. So it's a question that people ask all the time. They say, I'm new, I'm returning, how can I make gold at low levels? Now the correct answer is always to level as fast as you can and then focus on gold because anything you make at low level is just eclipsed by your maximum level gold making. However, that doesn't account for how much gold can really help you make your leveling journey a smooth one. Um, bags, training, dual spec, mounts, they all cost quite a bit of gold and it can really help you on your way if you, if you have access to them. So with that then, um, let's crack on. So the first one is the Blood Elf Starter Zone. Um, so here you can farm something called Rotten Hearts. Um, they drop from zombies at actually a really good high rate. Um, so I went on a level 35, but the mobs that you kill are around level 17. So if you're rolling a Blood Elf, then you'll be able to just stumble across these mobs anyway um, as part of the questing process. However, if you're if you're something else, then the Blood Elf starter zone on Silver, Silver Moon isn't hard to get to at all. You just need to, um, even if you start in Ogremar, you just need to uh, take the, the depth in from Ogremar to Undercity. And then you've got a portal in Undercity that takes you to Silver Moon. So it's not a it's not a difficult one to get to even when you're even when you're low level. Um, given that the mobs that you're killing here are around level 17, um, it would be good if you can get to at least level 15 and then you can stick with them until you're about level 20. So it will even help you level. Now, depending on your server, this area might be highly contested. So you can see when I visited, there's been um, a hunter having an absolute field day at level 55 um, farming these. If you find it is contested, then a good time to go back is almost always um, in the morning. Even at the weekend in the mornings is good. Um, so try that or even in the evenings, um, just work out what, what's best for your server, I guess. Uh, the rotting hearts that you get are used in bundles of 10 for a repeatable quest. Um, they give you an attack power buff against undeads. So these are really good for ice ground size still. Um, there is a spell power equivalent, but the caster one doesn't seem to be in such high demand. These are selling for around four gold each. So depending on the competition and depending on your server, you should easily be able to make a few hundred gold in an hour here. So the next one is new to me at least. Um, it's one that I hadn't ever heard of until a couple of days ago. Um, once again, it involves these melee characters, Min Max in left, right and center. If you remember in Angara Crater, you get a quest to go and collect all these power crystals and you get a buff from them. So it turns out one buff in particular, which reduces your opponent's armor by 200, it stacks and it's become very handy for people in Ice Crown Citadel. For this farm, you'll want to be level 50 plus, um, and it's super simple. You just go off in Ungoro and do circles around the area finding crystals. Now, I was told that Gather Meet 2 would have profiles to help with this. However, I couldn't make it work for me. Um, I went onto the website, tried to download things. I've been onto CurseForge. I've, I've not really found any working profiles for this one. So instead what I've done is I've picked up the crystals quest and I'm using Questy to mark on my map where the spawn points are. Um, every time I've got so many crystals that the quest is completed, then I just delete the yellow and green um, crystals to make the quest markers come back. So the blue power crystals are selling for four to six gold each and the red are selling for one to two gold each. The yellow and green ones are basically worthless from what I can tell, which is why I chose these ones to delete. Each of the spawn points can be any colour, so you should collect every one that you see in the hope that it can respawn as a blue or a red. Now, I was consistently making around three to four hundred gold per hour with this farm which isn't great for a level 80, but as a level 52 character, it's a pretty good way of getting yourself some gold to get started with while you're leveling. Um, there's quite a lot of death knights and um, paladins you'll see doing circles around here. I think they're just leveling. Um, I think they're just leveling their mining. They haven't, they, they don't tend to pick up the crystals. I wasn't really finding the crystals contested in any way anyway. Did I just say anyway twice? Sorry. So I hope you find this helpful. Um, if you have any other gold making tips that could help those that are new to Raffa the Lich King right now, then please do let me know in the comments. If we get enough of them, we can always make a part two. 
as always i really appreciate any likes and subscribes i'm getting super close to that first 1000 now um hopefully when i get to 1000 it'll stop counting it in ones and start counting the hundreds and then i can stop obsessing every time the counter goes down fingers crossed anyway well thank you very much for listening and i hope you have a good day cheers bye